Don't hang up. Leave a message and we'll get right back to you. And don't forget, you're my knight in shining armor, you old poop. I think I just got ripped off here. I just spent $500 on a personalized voicemail greeting from Katherine Hepburn, one of my all-time favorite actresses. And that was not Katherine Hepburn. Excuse me. Takes forever to type on one of these damn things. Well, I've just been informed that Katherine Hepburn has been dead for several years. I'm always the last to know. Oh, I think I've just come up with today's topic. Today, let's tackle celebrity greetings. Back in 1983, just as many people were getting their first answering machines, remember those? People were always trying to create that unique greeting. Lazier folks just bought a tape of their favorite celebrity, impersonator anyway, and fed it into their answering machine. These came from a series of eight tapes, and this series was called Celebrity Answeralls. These tapes featured very, very poor impersonations of various celebrities and cartoon characters. These wouldn't have been so bad if the impressions were a little better and if the jokes were, you know, actually decent, especially at 10 bucks a tape. Having said that, there's some good unintentional laughs to be had here, and even an intentional one. Hi, thank you for calling. We can't come to the phone right now. We're all busy exercising, losing tons of ugly, disgusting fat, and making wonderful things in the Vitamax. So listen, why don't you leave your name and number and leotard signs at the beep, and we'll call you back, okay? All right, everybody. One, two, three, four. Like I said, most of the impressions on these tapes are horrendous. So much so that I've come up with a little game that you can play along with at home. So with that, let's play a few rounds of Name That Celeb! This is your obedient servant. I'm here, unbelievably, to answer your call, citizen, because there's no one else around. You must, however, wait for the tone because I will take no message before it's time. The people aren't home, and if you hate answering machines as much as I hate pudding, you're going to hate me, because you and I, we're on an answering machine now. That's right. Now, you're going to hear a beep, and when you do, say jello and leave your message too. Well, I hear the phone ringing, but I ain't home right now. I'm back in Folsom Prison, and I'm singing for the crowds, so leave your name and number. And I'll get back to you Till then I'll keep on singing These old prison The phone always rings right in the middle of my catnap And scares me out of my nine lives so please, just leave your message at the sound of the tone. No time to be finicky. What's for din din? Hmm, savory stew. Or maybe seafood platter. Ahoy! <laughs> You know, today you've got virtual and phone celebrity birthday greetings from websites like stargreets.com and hollywoodiscalling.com. 
but this practice's roots go back to about 1984 when former Rat Packer Joey Bishop, along with the help of Canadian billionaire Murray Pezum, launched what they thought would give traditional greeting cards a serious run for their money. They launched a company called Pezzaz, alas, no relation to Pez Candy, in which they marketed a collection of audio cassettes known as Greetings from the Stars. Hiya, this is Shari Lewis and Lamb Chop. And it's your birthday, huh? Congratulations. I have written a poem because it's your birthday. Do it. All right. Don't worry about your birthday's friend, although your age may double. When you run out of birthday's friend, that's when you're in trouble. Oh, oh me too. What? I wrote a birthday poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. Be glad you're not turning 102. You're probably the nicest person alive. And I'll bet you don't look over 95. You're still in the game, just a little bit slower. And your figure's the same, just a little bit lower. The A side of the tape would feature three impersonal birthday greetings from a series of, usually well past their prime, celebs. The B side would consist of 30 minutes of blank tape for you to record your own greeting or psychotic ramblings on, I mean, you've got half an hour. Anyway, this series contained greetings from folks like Buddy Hackett, Scatman Carruthers, Jonathan Winters, and Don Knotts. These folks were paid the tidy sum of $10,000 apiece for their contributions, most of which were taped in the comfort of the stars' own homes. The entire project came out to around $3 million. Now, the greetings from the stars' tapes were first issued in late 1984, and they barely lasted into 1985. My hunch is that it might have had something to do with the fact that a lot of the celebs kind of phoned in their performances. Hi, this is Milton Burrow. I want to congratulate you on your birthday, and I wish you many, many more. Let me give you a little advice. Never think about your age. I don't. <laughs> I just want to live long enough to see who winds up with Brooke Shields. <laughs> I don't know your age, but me, I'm 75, and I feel like a 20-year-old. But unfortunately, there's never one around. But I'll tell you one thing. Sex at 75 is the greatest especially the one in the winter. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, that's it for today's all-too-brief trip into the archive. Join us next time when I launch my own line of celebrity impersonator voicemail slash birthday greetings. I tell you, it's going to be huge. Hi, this is David Steinberg. Now, I heard it's your birthday, is that right? Well, I just want you to know that, I don't, I don't know how old you are, but at 19, 19, mind you, Alexander the Great had already conquered Gaul and Mesopotamia and half the Western world.